Hey guys, this is my review for Block and Load. So this game is basically a 5 vs 5 shooter game and you each have your own home base and you have to defend that while trying to destroy the opposite team's base. And you can build traps and turrets and walls and blocks and basically just random structures to try and protect your base or to attack the enemy's base. And then you've also got guns and swords and weapons to help you kill the enemy. Uh, so there's not really like a whole lot of modes to this game. I think there's mostly just two, which is basically where each team just has one cube. Or you can play another one where the team has multiple cubes and you have to kill like all of them to be able to win. So I think you can either play with one cube, two cubes, or three cubes. And then this is an online multiplayer game, there's no single player to it. So pretty much you just choose what you want to play and then you do matchmaking and then you can either join in a game that's already playing, whereas someone's like disconnected and you can take their place, or you can play like a brand new game and just choose your character and start out and then try and win that way. So there's kind of a little bit of physics to this, like you can't have floating structures in the air, but you can have like just one line and put heaps of blocks up, then if someone breaks that line, all your blocks will fall, fall and then they'll get blocks. So you have to collect blocks, you don't just have an unlimited amount, so to collect them you have to destroy other blocks. Or there's like these random packages that they send to your base sometimes. So you can go and get those packages and then they give you bonus blocks as well. So blocks are kind of important, but I mean you don't really need them to win the game. It's just really helpful if you want to defend or build something to shoot from. So particularly with light like snipers and stuff, if you build yourself a good enough tower where you can get sight of most of the map, that's quite good. So the game gives you like four minutes at the start to make all your base and all your defenses so that you can hold off the enemy, which I think is a wee bit too long because usually you get to like two minutes and you've already finished using all your blocks depending on your character. And then you just kind of stand around waiting for the wall to drop in the middle of the map. But if you're some characters like um, engineer type characters, they have turrets and stuff, they tend to take a wee bit longer setting up because this, their stuff takes a lot longer to build. Whereas the sniper is quite simple, he doesn't really have that many things that take a while to build. Um, so there's heaps of characters in this game, but they do like a free rotation sort of thing, and they don't really... It's kind of like a long time b between rotations, I think they do it like weekly. Like I know a lot of online games do weekly free rotations so people can try out different characters and decide if they want to buy them, but I don't really like that kind of style. I prefer just buying weapons or something rather than having to buy entire characters. But I do like that they have free rotation. It would be extremely lame if they just only let you use the same free characters until you earned enough money to buy a new one. So you don't earn a, like a heap of gold when you're playing this game. You get about 75 or 50 gold per match, and then you get bonus gold if you complete uh, mini challenges or objectives for your characters. And then a character typically costs around about, I'd say, 7,000 gold to about 16,000. So it's not a particularly like long time to, to get gold. I think I've been playing this game for a while now and I've managed to get about 9,000 gold. But, I mean, I only play it casually. I'm not playing it, like, every day. Uh, the lag on this game is kind of... It's kind of bad. I know that the Oceanic server goes down all the time. So, generally, it's better to play on the North American server. The North American server for my country, I get about 200 ping. Which isn't good for, for a shooter game. Because, typically, if they live there, they've got, like, 30 ping. And they can just kill me pretty easily. Whereas on the Oceanic, you typically get about 40, 40 to 60 ping, which is a lot better. But, I mean, the Oceanic server goes down so much. I think the majority of the time I go to play this game, the Oceanic server is down for maintenance or has crashed for some reason and uh, trying to get it back up. 
which I mean, it's kind of weird because I mean, obviously, if it's crashing, they've either got a really bad server or there's just too many people wanting to play on the Oceanic one, so they should probably improve it. But it's up to them, I guess. Uh, otherwise, I mean, this game's quite fun. They really need to add more game modes. I mean, just having standard attacking cube is fun for a while. You get different experiences because you can tunnel or build or whatever. So it's not necessarily the same exact thing like some games you play online that are free. Where you just get like the same exact thing and then there's that one guy who plays the really expensive character and just wins every time he's on his team because he just sits in the game all the time playing. I didn't really find that. I think there's an MMR in this game, which is like the match matchmaking ranking. And then it ranks you based on how many games you win. I don't actually know what my MMR is. I just saw it one time when I was finding a game. It said it was trying to find someone in my matchmaking area or something like that. So I guess it's kind of good that they do that. I guess this game's getting a wee bit more popular. I have noticed a lot more people have been playing it lately. But then, I mean, they they really should try do some more work on this game, I reckon. I reckon they could do, do it a lot better. They really need to improve the lag. I noticed that if you get into, like, big explosions or really big gunfights with multiple people around, it just lags quite a lot. And, yeah, lag in shooting games and is not good. It's just ridiculous when you're trying... <laughs> Especially since some of these games, I mean, like, the, the guns they give you are pretty... They're pretty accurate, like, you have to be looking directly at them and shoot. Your bullet doesn't drop or doesn't, like, spray everywhere. You just look at someone, point, shoot, sort of thing. So your aim is quite important, and when you're lagging, you'll shoot someone and they'll be exactly in your sights, and then all of a sudden they, they'll, like, walk somewhere else. Or something like that. So it's kind of annoying that way, but otherwise... I mean, I can't hate on this game too much because I do actually quite like it. It's quite fun. Uh, they have voice chat in games, so you can talk with your team. It's not one of those annoying games where you have to type everything, and then while you're typing, you get murdered, which enrages me. I think it's mostly LOL that that happens to me on <laughs> when I used to play LOL. And then, or League, whatever you want to call it. But basically, I think League, you, I'd always get killed while I was typing to my team, whereas I prefer the whole voice chat thing. But yeah, your characters also have special abilities. I don't really realize like half of them. I don't really use them because I don't find them particularly useful sometimes. But some characters' special abilities are quite good. And yeah, if I had to give this game a ranking, I'd probably say like six out of ten. Because I mean, I think they only have like four maps, four or three maps in this entire game, which is ridiculous. Because I mean. The matches take maybe 5 to 30 minutes, depending on how good your team is or how bad they are. So, yeah, I mean, basically, you don't even get to choose between the maps. You get, like, this voting system, and they give you two out of the out of the four possible maps. So then you're trying to, like, choose a map, and then half the people have already played on one, and you have played on one, and then they just give you those same two maps. So then you're both, like trying to vote for one that you haven't recently played, but then you end up with the one that you just played, so it's really... it's kind of annoying that way. But... I mean, I don't think the maps would be that hard to make. It's basically just Minecraft square block things, and I've tried to make random buildings. I mean, the maps are pretty cool. you got lava or water on the ground. So I think the lava map, usually if you're smart, you'll get like a heap of bombs and just blow a hole in the middle of the map so no one can cross it. And then you just shoot everyone that comes across and chuck a spawn pad on the enemy side so that your team doesn't have to cross it. But, I mean, yeah, it's a pretty good game. So I'm only going to give this a 6 out of 10. It's just my opinion. If you don't agree or you do agree with my, my opinion of the game, drop what you thought of it in the comments below this video. Otherwise, I'm only going to give it a 6 out of 10. Okay guys, see ya.